Hi everyone, welcome to AI Crack channel. This is Akash Kumar, and today we'll be studying circles lecture four. So we'll be studying tangents, slope form, normals, and direct the circle in this lecture. So let us start with tangents, slope form. So until now we studied about the T notation, and that was basically point form. So in which we studied that we have a circle, we have a point given x one and y one, and if you want to write down the tangent equation, we we write the notation T equals to zero. And t is basically uh, replacing x square with x x one, y square is with y y one, x with x plus x one by two, and same with y y with y plus y one by two. Now we have to make these transformations to get the tangent equation t equals to zero. Okay, t is the notation over here. Now the interesting point was over here was that this point is lying on the tangent. It was not somewhere else. It was lying on the tangent, and then only we can use this tangent notation. Otherwise, we cannot use that. That would mean something else, and not the tangent equation. If the point is not lying on the circle, okay. Now, what if we want to find out the equation of tangent when the point is lying somewhere outside? Okay. So let's say we have this circle, and we want to find out the equation of tangent, and the point over here is x1, y1, and the slope is m, and uh, This is our center. Okay, this circle is given. This is the tangent. This is slope m. This is point given as. Okay. Now this uh, radius is r for this particular circle. And let's say the center is standard one, basically zero comma zero. So this circle is something of this sort. X square plus y so y square equals to r square. Basically the most standard circle. Okay. Now we want to find out the equation of tangent in terms of slope. now in this particular case this point is not given and just assume that this point is somewhere outside it's not on the tangent the main point was this point is not on the circle it's somewhere outside and we don't know the value we just know the slope value okay now how to find out the equation of tangent so let's assume that this tangent equation equals to is y equals to mx plus c let's assume that this equation of tangent is y equals to mx plus c and the given condition over here is this distance from center to this tangent is r because radius is perpendicular to tangent right we know the center coordinates because we have assumed this is standard circle over here so what we can do we can draw perpendicular from this point on tangent and equate the distance to r that we can do so if i write y minus mx minus c equals to 0 and if i find out the distance that would be 0 minus m times 0 minus c divided by under root 1 plus m square modulus equals to r right now this would give me r equals to sorry this would give me c equals to plus minus r times under root 1 plus m square okay because of the modulus plus minus is because of the modulus because when we are opening it we are going to open it with two signs so c equals to plus minus r times under root 1 plus m square so this gives us the equation y equals to mx plus plus minus r times 1 plus m square and why are we getting plus minus sign over here because one tangent is going to be here with slope m and one tangent one parallel tangent is going to be over here with same slope m with different constant value but same slope okay because if we draw perpendicular uh, on this tangent and on this tangent it would be same and that would be equals to r and both have slope m right now what if the given circle is not the standard circle this equation is for the standard circle that is x square plus y square equals to r square what if circle is something of something of generic form x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 so basically we can write down that circle in the form of x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square equals to r square x1 and y1 are center over here it's not it's not these points x1 and y1 are centers over here so what we can do we can replace y with y minus y1 x with x minus x1 how do we get that that comes from the uh, you know origin transformation origin shifting actually not transformation origin uh, shifting we won't go into that concept you just have to remember that you can replace x with x minus x1 if the center is something other than uh, 0, 0 y with uh, y minus y1 okay so our generic equation would become y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 Plus minus under root r times one plus m square. So this is our generic equation for any circle. We won't be using this because it looks a little complicated to remember. 
we can use the uh, general basic formula even if you don't remember this you know the derivation part you know the slope you can assume the straight line with given slope and you can drop the perpendicular to it and make it equal to r and that would also solve your problem okay remember the basic concept now let's try to solve this question find the equation of tangents to the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0 which are parallel to the line 4x minus 3y plus 10 so whenever i see parallel to the line i tend to write the equation and slope so i'll write the equation over here that would be 4x minus 3y plus k because we have to find out another line which is parallel to this line so the line would be 4x minus 3y plus k equals to 0 right and now we have this particular line over here and we have to make that equal to tangent and how how do we do that we make that equals to uh, the we make the distance from center to this particular tangent equals to r right so the center over here is actually uh, 3 comma minus 2 right and radius would be under root 3 square plus minus 2 square and plus 12 so that would be 9 plus uh, 4 13 plus 12 25 that would be 5 so the radius is 5 actually so what we have to do we have to just drop this perpendicular uh, from this point on this line so that would be 4 times 3 uh, minus 3 times minus 2 plus k divided by under root a square plus b square that would be 5 only and that should be equals to modulus of this that should be equals to 5. Now you can find out the value of k from here okay. Now let's look at this question. Find the equation of tangents to the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8y equals to 0. So the center over here would be 3 comma minus 4. Okay. And radius would be 5 because we don't have any constant. So that would be under root g square plus f square minus 0. That is 5 only. Okay. And uh, basically we have this circle and we have this point and we have to drop two perpendiculars, uh, two tangents from this point uh, onto this circle. Okay. Now what we can do, we can uh, write down the equation of tangent in terms of slope because slope is variable over here. So I can write down the equation of tangent from this point. That would be y minus y1 that is 1 equals to m times x minus 0, right? So basically we have got y minus mx minus 1 equals to 0 as the variable tangent equation, right? Now all I have to do is drop the perpendicular from the center that is 3 comma minus 4 on this tangent. It would work both ways because we are going to get the modulus value. So we are going to get two values for m. So that would take care of this tangent and also this tangent. So all we have to do is just drop the perpendicular from 3 comma minus 4 onto this uh, uh, tangent variable tangent equation and you will get the value of uh, m and you will get two equations. Okay. This is all you have to solve it. Now let's solve this question. If the equation of the tangent to the circle with center at 2 comma minus 1 from the origin is 3x plus y equals to 0. And the equation of other tangent through the origin is okay. So we have this coordinate axis and uh, center is one distance, two distance, and minus one distance over here. Cent center is at two comma minus one. Now there is this line which is also tangent to the circle that is y equals to minus three x. So that would be something of this sort. Okay. Now you can clearly see that the circle is actually of this sort. And the other other tangent also is passing through the origin. So that must be something like this. Okay. So we know that the tangent is passing through this point 0 comma 0. We can assume the slope as m. Now all we have to do is we have to drop perpendicular from this point onto this tangent of variable slope and equate it to r. But we don't even know r over here. So we can find out r by dropping the perpendicular from this center onto this uh, given tangent line that is y plus 3x equals to 0, right? So basically what we have to do, we have to draw perpendicular from this particular point onto this tangent. So that would be 3 times 2 minus 1 divided by under root 1 plus 9, okay? And that should be our, our modulus of it, okay? That would be 5 by root 10 equals to r. Now you have to equate this uh, distance, r equals to, that should be distance from this point uh, onto this particular tangent. So our uh, tangent would be y equals to mx, y minus mx equals to 0 basically because it's passing through origin. So you just have to drop the perpendicular that would be minus m times 2 plus minus 1 divided by under root 1 plus m square 
equals to 5 by root 10. We just have to square it and you will get the value of m. Okay. I'm just giving the ideas in these questions until the end because I have to cover a lot of syllabus uh, and uh, today is the last P4 covering all the lectures. So we'll not be going too deep into the calculations. I'm just giving the ideas, giving the hints how to proceed with these kind of questions and you can proceed forward with the calculations. Okay. Now let us talk about normals and just like any other normal, basically we studied that in AOD that if we have a tangent at a particular point, this is a tangent T and if we drop uh, a line that is normal to th that is perpendicular to this uh, tangent at that specific point, then we call that a line as a normal, right? In case of circle, it has one specific property and uh, I think every one of us knows that that a normal at a particular point passes through center. So if this is the point and we have drawn the tangent, if I drop a perpendicular line onto this tangent and that would pass through the center and that is also called as normal. Okay. So these were the basic properties, basic definitions of normal and let's start the questions. The area of the triangle formed by the x axis and the normal and the tangent to the circle x square plus y square equals to 4x at 1 comma root 3. Okay. So we have the circle x square plus y square minus 4x equals to 0. So basically center would be 2 comma 0, right? So these are the coordinate axis. Center would be 1 distance, 2 distance. That would be 2 comma 0 over here, okay? And also we can see that the radius would be 2 only because under root g square plus s square minus c would yield 2 only. So center is, circle is basically passing through the origin as well, okay? Now there is this point 1 comma root 3 and we can clearly see that this point is satisfying this equation. So basically this point is lying on the circle. So let's say the point is somewhere over here 1 comma root 3. Okay. Now we have to draw one tangent and one normal at this point. So normal would actually pass through the center and we have to find out the area of this particular region. Okay. Now since the point is given on the circle, we can write down the equation of tangent directly with the help of transformation that is P equals to zero, right? So what we'll be doing x, x1 plus y, y1 minus four times x plus x1 by two equals to zero. This is our t equals to zero expression. So x1 is, x1 over here is uh, three, sorry, x1 over here is one. So x plus y1 over here is root three. So that would be root three y. And this two gets canceled. That would give me minus two times x plus one, okay? equals to zero. So that would become root three y minus x plus minus two equals to zero. This is our tangent equation. And if you want to find out this coordinate for finding out the area, we need base and height. Height we already know. Height is basically the y coordinate that is root three. And if you want to find out this distance, we need to know this coordinate x coordinate, right? For that, we'll have to put y equals to zero. If I put y equals to zero, I'll be getting x equals to minus two. Okay. So basically this coordinate is minus two comma zero. And uh, this is two distance. This is two distance. So this distance is actually four. So delta would be one by two times four into root three. That is two root three. So this is the correct answer. Now let us talk about director circle and the definition is quite simple to understand. So the definition says that if we have a point P over here and if I drop two tangents on this circle, and if those tangents are actually intersecting each other at 90 degree, then all those points, the locus of all those points from where if we drop the tangents and they intersect at 90 degree, the locus would be called as the Richter circle. And we can clearly see that it's going to be a circle over here and it's going to be concentric circle over here because of the symmetry, right? Now this is our center C. And since this is going to be concentric circle, we can clearly see that we just have to find out the radius because we already know center of the given circle and that is also going to be the circle uh, center of the director circle right now we know that uh, the normals the radius is actually tangent to to the is perpendicular to the tangent and uh, this is also perpendicular to tangent and uh, since these three angles are 90 degree so this should be also 90 degree and this is radius this is radius two adjacent sides are actually perpendicular to each other and are also equal and all the angles are perpendicular so this must be r and this must be r based on symmetry, right? So if this is R, this is R. So this length, this radius, capital R, that should be root 2R by Pythagoras theorem. So basically this is going to be a circle with radius root 2R, 
of the given circle that's it okay now let us talk about length of tangent and power of a point length of tangent from a point x1 y1 to the circle is given by uh, under root x square plus y y1 square x1 square plus y1 square minus a square and that is s1 actually okay this is also applicable for a general circle right now we talked about uh, s1 actually uh, for position of a point so basically s expression is x square plus y square minus a square right this is our s expression and if i put the point in this uh, particular expression i'll get x1 and that would be x1 square plus y1 square minus a square so under root if we do the under root s1 we'll actually get the length of tangent now this point x1 and y1 that would be the point from where we are dropping the tangent so this is an external point so we have to remember which point are we talking about in these notations we we are going to use the t notation for chord of contact and also we are going to use the t notation for tangent okay so we have to make sure that which point are we going to use in that particular notation similarly over here in this s1 we are talking about this external point and that would give us the distance of length of tangent okay so basically uh, length of tangent is being defined by under root s1 we have to remember this notation now the power of point p with respect to any circle is pa dot pb okay so let's say this is our point p and i've drawn one secant this point is a this point is b and this is a tangent and this point is t okay so this length is pt this length is pa this length is pb so according to power of point formula through geometry we'll be getting pa dot pb equals to pt square and also if i drop one more sec secant i mark it as c and d that would be equals to pc dot pb so you have to remember this formula we got one question uh, about this in pg debate 2022 okay and we might get again maybe possible around similar concept so this is how we define the power of point okay so this was the question i was talking about that was asked in pgd by 2022 if a circle passes through the point of intersection of the coordinate axis with lines lambda x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 and x minus 2 y plus 3 equals to 0 find the value of lambda the concept over here is we have a uh, few points given over here and uh, a circle is formed okay and one point is actually the variable point so this point is the external point external point uh, through which we are actually dropping the secants so this distance multiplied by this distance equals to this distance multiplied by this distance this is all you have to do in this question how to get these points you can use the intercept form so for example in this case we have lambda x minus y equals to minus 1 so we can take minus 1 in the denominator will be getting x divided by minus 1 by lambda plus y by 1 equals to 1 okay so these are the intercepts why you know, this is this is the variable intercept that would come over here that is minus 1 by lambda and uh, this is the sorry this is on the x axis so this would be the variable intercept over here this would be the variable intercept that would be minus 1 by lambda and this is the positive intercept that would be let's say uh, 0 comma 1 over here okay similarly you can find out these two intercepts and you can use the formula of power of point this dot this equals to this dot this and you can find out the value of lambda also you can uh, you have to use one uh, trick over here not not trick just you know being aware of what has been asked we can have multiple uh, lambda values over here because this point can be this point we we can draw we can actually draw a circle with given three points so this point can also coincide with this point as well so you can find out one more value of lambda with that either either ways you have to do it basically you'll be getting two values of lambda so keep this is a homework and this has been exactly similar question has been asked in the pgd by 2022 examination the concept is this only power of point so this lecture was still here only and in the next lecture we'll be talking about chord of contact and pair of tangents so let's meet in the next lecture thanks for watching